It's important to point out that there is a massive difference between preventing sperm and egg from uniting and ending a life that has already started. But the answer is, it really depends on the type of contraception. Anything that has the capacity to end an already established life from the moment of fertilization would be wrong. There is a massive difference between barrier methods like the condom and hormone-related contraceptives that have the capacity in them to thin the lining of the womb and prevent a fertilized egg from implanting if it has become fertilized. Now, some of you might say, hang on, contraceptions aren't abortifacient. Aren't they simply preventing a pregnancy? This is where language is so important. The current medical definition of conception is the process of becoming pregnant involving fertilization or implantation or both. And contraception means to prevent conception, which is the whole process of fertilization to implantation. This definition brings with it far greater implications that we need to be aware of. As to how often embryos are lost is unknown, but what we would say to people who would wish to use hormone-related contraceptives is, err on the side of caution. And it's useful to use an analogy to illustrate that. So let's imagine that you're a construction worker working on a site and you decide to take your child to work with you. And the job of the day is to demolish a building. And you're there with your child, you're about to demolish the building, but then you realize, oh, you haven't seen your daughter in a while. And in fact, there could be a chance that she's inside the building. Do you go and blow up the building in the air and think, oh, we'll just do it anyway? Or do you err on the side of caution? check it out and make sure she's not inside first. You'd err on the side of caution. In the same way, if hormone-related contraceptives have the capacity to end the life of a child in the womb, shouldn't we err on the side of caution?